Let's play some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. Let's play some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. Doing team deathmatch on Afghan using the M4 with the red dot and some miscellaneous randomly assigned perks. I always forget which perks I use. Some of you may be saying, British Let's Plays, you very sexy man. Where is the Call of Duty Ghost footage? Well, as I said in the previous video, the Call of Duty Ghost is going to be a long time. I left it downloaded all night, and it's currently downloading right now, actually. But due to my internet connection and it being over a 50 gigabyte install, it's going to take a while. I'm hoping I'll be able to get some maybe Thursday, but I can't promise anything because the internet around here is so finicky. But let me guys know what you think of... Call of Duty Ghost. Do you like it if you're playing it on your Xbox or your PlayStation 3? Possibly your Wii U. I'm not too sure if the Wii U has it. Um, I think it would be pretty foolish if it didn't. But hey, what do you think of Call of Duty Ghost and are you enjoying it? I'm actually in talk with another YouTube commentator right now and we're discussing the idea of doing kind of a co-op walkthrough let's play of Call of Duty Ghosts. I don't know if you can do that with a single player campaign but if not we can bring some co-op commentary and we can also bring you know, maybe some cooperative talk on extinction mode and whatnot, and I think that'll be cool. I imagine Spec Ops is probably in there as well, and I'm hoping we've got lots of good opportunity to have a laugh. I'll let you know about that when we know some more details. He might not be able to get it for a little bit. I'm not too sure how specifically long it'll be, but I'll be bringing some multiplayer footage, I'm sure. Maybe even some single player footage too. Whatever tickles that pickle of mine. So, I want to do some talk on a very good YouTuber who I've watched for... Well, pretty much since Modern Warfare 2, really. And that is Wings of Redemption. Wings of Redemption, Geordie Jordan. He is a very cool commentator. And he's been going a little downhill recently. He's not been gaining the subs he wants. He's not been enjoying the gaming as much. And he's had a lot of problems with his confidence recently. And the thing about Geordie Jordan is that he weighs... 430 pounds so he's a big guy and I do believe one of the reasons why he doesn't have much confidence is because he's self-conscious about his weight but a few days ago he went over to FPS Rush's house or FPS Kyle if you enjoy watching PKA and they are doing a one month boot camp to try to make him lose 50 pounds in a month and he's been there for a few days now and they've got a few good videos out showing him working out showing him dieting and whatnot and he's lost, I think, at least 10 pounds or so after three, four days. That is incredible, people. Seriously, I'm plugging this series because I want you guys to watch it. Even if you don't care about Geordie Jordan or his weight, if you don't care about what happens in the end, just watch these videos because they're really good videos. And it's good to see this guy flourishing. Wings of Redemption, as I said, had confidence issues, but now you can see it. He's working really hard. And it's going through a lot of trouble and strength. But he's smiling. He is so happy. And I really enjoy watching YouTube videos like that. When you see people who are overcoming their problems. Not just kind of complaining about the problems they currently have. I do it all the time. I'm constantly complaining about the problems I have. But this guy is really doing something about it. And I love it. I really do love it. So go over to Wings of Redemption's channel. Check out the boot camp. And it's going to get even better apparently. They are going to have... Assault courses while dressed as chickens and everything. It's going to be a hilarious, hilarious time. I was going to bring a new story today. However, all the news stories I was finding were mostly positive. <laughs> I was finding lots of positive news stories. And here is one which I picked it was going to be a good one. A young boy has used 3D printing technology done by his father to get a prosthetic hand using 3D printing. This is awesome, people. If you guys haven't seen 3D printers in action, they are very cool. It's basically a printer which hooks up to your computer, and rather than printing documents on paper, you put in a 3D model like you'd see in a video game. I believe you use a CAD file mostly, but Blender can do them as well, which I used to make my intro. And you can print 3D models of things, actual physical objects you can hold, and if they have moving parts, they're already assembled for you. And this is so cool to see that this boy, who was born without fingers, now has a fully functioning hand by using 3D printing technology. I love the idea of 3D printing technology. The idea was that eventually everyone will have a 3D printer and if you need something, like from the shops, you won't go to the shop and buy it. You will download a model, a 3D model of whatever you need and print it in your home. And this is things like furniture. <laughs> you know, they've got plans to do furniture which you can assemble together yourself after printing off all the parts. Ikea would jump on that shit, I swear. And also you've got things 
like your crockery, your plates and your knives and forks, your mugs, you would just print them off at home in plastic. That is a very, very cool thing. It's a very inexpensive way. They said in this video, which showed the father making the 3D hands, how much would a normal prosthetic arm cost? It said around $20,000. How much does making this hand cost once you have got the printer itself? You know, you can hire them. You don't have to buy one. They're like $2,000, I think. He said about $10 for all the plastic. He could make a prosthetic hand for $10. Seriously, 3D printing, it's going to change the world, I am sure. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what people do. People have been making gun parts with it, actually. That's very, very controversial because you don't have to go into a store and sign up. You know, no serial numbers, etc. That's a little controversy there. But I see it all as a form of entertainment. Okay, so that's the end of the game. 16 and 6, as I said, not very good. Remember to check out the previous video in which I discussed getting Call of Duty Ghosts and its 50 gigabyte install. Remember to check out the Wings of Redemption bootcamp. See you around. British Let's Plays out.